good afternoon today we learn about the flower and their parts uh, i am dr anil sirsagar head department of botany shivaji arts commerce and science college kannad district aurangabad let us see about the different structures of the flowers and their parts as we know that floral parts can be divided into two that is accessory whorls and the essential whorls the flower contains four kinds of the parts that is calyx corolla androecium and the gynoecium calyx and corolla are the accessory whorls androecium and gynoecium is the essential whorls that flower contains the four sets of the particular structures as shown in this figure there are these certain petals stamens sepals and the flower with pedicel that is called as pedicellate flower the flower without pedicel that is called as the uh, sessile flower okay then the <coughs> essential whorls that is the reproduction can be takes place through these two parts of the flower that is androecium and the gynoecium the androecium later on gives rise to the male gametophyte the gynoecium will gives rise to the female gametophyte what are the parts of the androecium the androecium can be consisting of three parts filament connective and the stamens that stem uh, the, that is anther lobe that anther lobe or the anther containing the pollen grains and uh, while the gynoecium is consisting of the three parts ovary style and the stigma the stigma is a receptor organ it is a sticky substance that receives the pollen grains secondly the style is a tube like structure and the ovary is a swollen basal part of the uh, uh, plant next uh, receptacle or the peduncle that means as i just told you the flower may be a pedicellate or may be sessile having the stalk with a flower flower with a stalk that is called as the pedicellate flower flower without stalk that is called sessile flower so these are the different parts of the flower the having the uh, that is a longitudinal section which uh, showing the different parts of the flower this is a particular figure or the structures uh, i am taken from the uh, cambridge uh, website uh, i am thankful to the person who gives this to give permission for the using this figures into the our point presentation so these are the floral variations there are two kinds of the flowers that is actinomorphic flower and the zygomorphic flower actinomorphic flower that means the complete flower the all floral whorls are present in the flower that is sepals petals that is called calyx corolla and androecium and gynoecium and incomplete flower that lacks any kind of the Uh, division that means uh, they have any part of the flower that is maybe lacking of the androecium maybe lacking of the uh, gynoecium so that is incomplete one the flower having the again the two kinds of the flower that is uh, presence of both the reproductive structure in the flower that we called as the Uh, bisexual flower and if there is one of the reproductive structure is absent then it is called as the unisexual flower so this is the ls of the flower so uh, these are the two different imperfect flowers that we also called as the pistillate flower that is mainly find out in the female flower staminate flowers that is called the male flower that shown in the figure 
so this is the monoecious plant that means both the reproductive structures are present in a single flower that is a monoecious one in the diocese both the reproductive plants are uh, flowers are growing on the uh, different structures of the uh, different flowers that is diocese imperfect one then these are the structures of the floral parts of the dicotyledons dicotyledonous flower and the monocotyledonous flowers as shown in this particular slide so the that dicotyledonous flower consisting of the four to five uh, petals while um, in monocots they may be in the trimerous form or that is called as the two to three uh, sepals or petals then these are the floral structures of the regular and irregular flower as shown in this figure the above the violet color and the white color flowers are the regular flowers and here the yellow color at the below that yellow color flower is called irregular flower as we see these structures in the different way this is irregular flower the big petal is called as the uh, standard and the medium size two petals are called as the wing or the ali and the again there are the innermost two petals which is present in the flower uh, that is leaf shaped structure or the leaf like structure that we also call it as the uh, keel or the carina which is present inside to the particular uh, petal and there are examples of this particular flower it is find out in the uh, pea uh, pigeon pea or maybe in the clitoria ternitia so this is the irregular flowers so this this irregular flower having the uh, papillonesis corolla so this is the uh, as uh, on the particular side where there are the flowers of the papillonesis uh, corolla that is uh, erythriana crista that is the example of that flower so when we dissect this particular flower it as i just told you that the big petal is called the uh, standard of the banner and the two side petals are called as the uh, that is uh, uh, carina sorry uh, small petals are called as carina or keel so one plus two plus two condition is there in that uh, corolla so uh, it is this type of the papillonesis corolla is recorded in the family fabaceae or that we also call it as the papillonesi the another cesalpinesis flower that has the uh, structure of the flowers as shown in this figure it is very common uh, cesalpinia pulcherima is the example of that particular flower uh, having the five petals the big one is called as the banner two wings and two small petals are called as the uh, keels so this type of the flowers are generally found in the family cesalpinesi then this is a bilabate corolla it is uh, having the two leaf structures two leaf petals that's why it is called as bilabate corolla Uh, it is generally found uh, found in the family uh, Lamiaceae or the Labiate that we call it as another old name of the this family is Labiate and new name is a Lamiaceae. So this is our orchidaceous flower. It is looking very beautiful, and this type of the flower consisting of three petals that is called labellum. and very typical which is present in the family orchidaceae then this is the symmetry of these two flowers as i just told you actinomorphic and zygomorphic flower that actinomorphic flower is also called as regular or complete flower that is they has two equal halls along the particular by the plane divided into two equal halls of the uh, one plane that is Uh, called as regular complete or the actinomorphic flower while zygomorphic flower is having the bilateral symmetry that we having two equal halls only by a medial cut of the particular axis 
then these are the certain positions of the ovary i just told you the sorry uh, uh, position of the ovary on the basis of position of ovary that ovary can be categorized into three different types maybe a superior ovary inferior ovary and the half inferior ovary so depending upon the type of the floral bulbs which is arise uh, on the particular uh, flower on the ovary so if we take the section passing through the ovary that is called transverse section of the ovary you will get the placentation placentation nothing but the arrangement of the ovules uh, or the carpels in the ovary that is called as the placentation they the placentation uh, are of the different types so as shown in this figure there is axial placentation trimerous uh, tricarpellary ovary and syncarpus Uh, so placentation may be of the three more uh, three to more types they may be axial placentation parietal placentation free central placentation basal placentation marginal placentation and the pendulous placentation as shown in this particular figure there are the different types axial placentation that is the origin from of the placenta or ovary from the center of the ovary and that's why it is called axile and the ovules are arise on the parietal side of the ovary wall that is parietal one free central that is away from the central so these are the different kinds of the placentation that is arrangement of the carpels or ovules into the ovary now let us focus about the inflorescence there are the many kinds of the inflorescence but mainly there are two types that two types are the racemous inflorescence and the cymous inflorescence in the racemous inflorescence as shown in this figure this is the particular uh, inflorescence uh, of the gladiola is the particular example and uh, having the peduncle and florets which is arise on this particular inflorescence axis so what is mean by inflorescence inflorescence is nothing but the flower bearing axis is called as the inflorescence simply that is divided into two types racemous and the cymous that is definite indefinite flowers so this is a panicle type of the inflorescence the main uh, branch having the uh, that is the example of this type of the inflorescence is the rice then spike that is having the uh, sessile type of the flowers they has no pedicel they directly attaches the flowers on the inflorescence axis then this is the catkin type of inflorescence the best example is the bottle brush as uh, uh, that is a special type of the inflorescence it just like a spike but it having the pendulous structure on the appearance on the particular uh, taxon so spadix is a very special type of the inflorescence it is a fleshy spike both male and female flowers are uh, present in them that spadix is generally the example is canna indica uh, that uh, then uh, musa paradisica is also one of the example of the spadix this is the uh, flowers of the spadic type of the inflorescence this is a cymose inflorescence the cymose type of inflorescence is showing in the cluster form so this is corium type of the inflorescence the younger flowers and the older flowers umbel type of inflorescence that is the there are simple umbel compound umbel there are two types of this umbel inflorescence arise into the uh, say bit better way that is an example of this uh, is uh, that is a coriandrum sativum then this is a head or the capitulum type of the inflorescence inflorescence that is a special type of inflorescence it just seems like a saucer this is a flower of the capitulum type of the uh, that is a sunflower that is ray floret and disfloret flowers are present in them 
then this is a fascicle type of inflorescence so thank you for watching thank you very much